whistleblowing in Switzerland and a crowdfunding initiative called Fair Trial and Swiss Bank Secrecy as a global president with a global impact. This crowdfunding initiative has the purpose, firstly, to fight the abusive practice of the Swiss judicial system, not to give a whistleblower and his family a fair trial for more than 14 years. Secondly, to request a ruling of the European Court of Human Rights in respect of fair trial and whistleblowing. And lastly, already with this video, to educate civil society and release more information, e.g. Donald Trump, etc. Receiving a fair trial is the key issue in any courtroom in this world. But numerous whistleblowers globally have not been treated fairly by the judicial systems for decades. Chelsea Manning, Herve Falciani, Brigitte Heinisch, Stephanie Gibault, Yasmin Montagemi, etc. A fair trial is a crucial and key fundament of human rights. Switzerland is the world champion, especially due to its financial industry and Swiss bank secrecy, to systematically prosecute in any area people who are conscientious objectors when making abusive practice known to civil society. To make this possible, Switzerland does not have any whistleblower protection law in place in the private sector. Swiss whistleblowers do not receive systematically a fair trial in Swiss courts for various reasons. For instance, due to the fact that judges are elected by political parties and have to pay 10 to 15 percent of their annual salary to the party which supports their election. Swiss authorities, but also Swiss insiders, know that not only political parties who might influence a court ruling, but also multinational conglomerates, because headquarters of global key industries are domiciled in Switzerland. They do have a powerful position in the tiny country of Switzerland. The extremely liberal law allows the Swiss criminal system to stretch bend and abuse the governing law in favor of the powerful. It is a known fact that these industries are key players in Switzerland, but also globally in the field of finance, pharmaceutic, food, commodities, gold refinery, free ports, and have a major influence on the outcome of a court ruling. Because Switzerland is not only a tax haven, it's also a legal haven, a self-regulatory haven for industries such as the banking industry with the Swiss Financial Market Supervisory Authority, which is, as a matter of fact, a self-regulatory body in the banking industry, and all that for the powerful. It is crucial for any so-called secrecy jurisdiction to be a tax and legal haven like Switzerland in order to attract and protect international organizations such as FIFA, Olympic Committees, uh, World Economic Forum, United Nations, etc. It is the judicial system of a secrecy jurisdiction which acts as a protector for multinational conglomerates, ultra high net worth individuals and simply in order to be in line with Swiss national interests. In my legal case, it's not only Julius Baer as a multinational conglomerate, but also the Swiss financial industry, the Swiss media, and most importantly, the dubious law of Swiss bank secrecy, which wanted me to be denounced publicly as a data thief, blackmailer, neo-Nazi, mentally sick person, a person who goes for revenge, and even as a terrorist. Because I returned back to Switzerland in the lion's cage to fight in the courtroom for justice. As a matter of fact, whistleblowing in the financial industry of Switzerland or any tax haven is considered a capital crime. A capital crime which must be punished harshly with the social, financial and professional death of any person who dares to make the truth public in this case about the fine, or call it better, 
the dubious art of Swiss banking to global civil society. Swiss authorities not only go after any whistleblower in any Swiss key industry, they also go after his, her family members in the sense of a witch hunt. The family has to become an outlaw. In my case, there are some of the following retaliations my family had to endure. Firstly, the Swiss police protected the severe harassment of my family by Julius Baer, which was only addressed by prosecution after seven years the crimes had been committed. Secondly, no investigation at all in respect of the Cayman data delivered to Swiss authorities and turning down systematically approximately 60 court complaints I filed. Thirdly, 217 days of solidary confinement and no compensation, even so the court trial was won by my lawyer. Fourthly, a criminal investigation against my wife, supposedly having violated Swiss bank secrecy, in order not to allow her to visit me in prison for 187 days when I was in solitary confinement. Fifthly, destroying my health, for instance, due to a breakdown in the courtroom on December the 10th, 2014, sarcastically, the Human Rights Day of 2014, because the judge forced me to leave the hospital, I stayed, all, I stayed already for three weeks in to attend the court proceedings. Sixthly, the coverage of court fees of US dollars 350,000. Even so, the legal case ended with an acquittal at the Federal Court of Switzerland. And lastly, a defamation campaign of many Swiss newspapers protected by the judicial system and even performed by the head judge publicly calling me an ordinary criminal. Not only I, but also the family did not receive a fair trial due to the fact that I dare to challenge the golden calf of Swiss bank secrecy. The judges and prosecutors' simple methodology was not to consider exculpatory and inculpatory aspects with equal care as requested in the law. All of the exculpatory aspects of my legal case were simply ignored by the judges and the prosecutors. In order to prolong the case, to judge, justify and maximize the punishment or simply to give the family a hard time. There are a few. Firstly, the deliberately withholding of the confiscated Cayman employment contract for nine years by the prosecution office in order to make me an employee of Zurich Bank and justify the application of Swiss bank secrecy. Secondly, ignoring the severe post-traumatic stress disorder I had caused by the Julius Baer's harassment and even falsifying a psychological evaluation carried out by the forensic experts of the courts. Thirdly, ignoring the severe the several emails with death threats we might have received from culprits related to Julius Baer. Fourthly, ignoring the fact that Julius Baer stalkers and Zurich's prosecutors and judges made so much pressure on my 11-year-old daughter that she made the judges responsible in her suicide note after two prosecutors and the police officers entered illegally our home when she was home alone. Fifthly, not only having withheld for 14 years personal belongings of me, but also of my wife and my daughter. Family photos uh, of my daughter's childhood, her computer, etc. Lastly and most importantly, ignoring the crimes Julius Baer committed in the offshore world. After the dubious federal court's ruling, I decided to take my case to the fourth time to the European Court of Human Rights as a president, which I personally have to finance with approximately Euro 40,000. I was told by the former German judicial minister of justice, Deuble Kmelin, 
a supporter of my initiative. On top of it, I run a campaign that whistleblowers in Switzerland, but also globally, will not receive a fair trial. Whistleblowing in the Swiss financial industry is a capital crime. All court rulings related to Swiss whistleblowing as of today led to a guilty verdict in Swiss courts one or the other way. The obvious conclusion is, reporting a financial crime or any crime of a multinational conglomerate in Switzerland is a capital crime. Worse, exposing abusive practice of multinational conglomerates and of organizations of key industries will not only cause the social, financial and professional death of a whistleblower, it causes a big burden of the entire family and the relatives. My conclusion is that I do have the mental power and the endurance to continue this fight in favor of truth-telling in Switzerland and globally, which I have started in 2002 in the Caymans and continued in 2006, having turned down half a million, 500,000 Swiss francs hush money and the offer to close all legal cases against me by Julius Baer and the prosecution office. Today, I'm at a point where I need the support of the global civil society. This only because the Federal Court of Switzerland decided, even though I won the Swiss bank secrecy matter in the courtroom, that I have to pay US dollars 350,000 or even more in court fees that I will not receive any compensation of the, for the 270 days in solitary confinement. And it will not be considered the fact that I had a ban to work in the Swiss financial industry for 14 years due to the request of the prosecution office to put me four and a half years to prison and a lifelong ban of working in the Swiss financial industry. All of this made me a poor man. It is even worse. The Federal Court of Switzerland has already forced me to pay my brilliant lawyer with assets out of my pension fund. Therefore, here is my offer for this crowdfunding initiative. Firstly, you will receive a book about the inside of Rudolf Elmer and more importantly about offshore. How it really works, a lot of tricks, how to cheat, how to escape investigations and with several striking examples of trusts, companies, hedge funds, special purpose vehicles, etc. Secondly, the book will include the two well-known CDs, which I handed over to Julien Assange at the press conference in the Frontline Club in 2011, two days, before my first trial at the lower court of Zurich. This time, the CDs will be full of offshore information. And for instance, I will talk about my encounter with ultra-high net worth individuals, such as Donald Trump, but also officials of US Department of Justice, German, Belgian, Swiss tax authorities, etc. Due to strategical reasons, I withheld a lot of information for years. For instance, to protect my family, to use the information as a life insurance, and to perform smart whistleblowing. Thirdly, the book is planned to be released in several languages and it will be provided with the two CDs mid-2020. For any donations of more than 50 euros, US dollars, Swiss francs, to the bank account of Rudolf Elmer, Fair Trial, Swiss Bank Secrecy. Please be aware, the only condition is that this crowdfunding initiative turns out to be a success. Again, the key purpose of this initiative is to finance the filing of the complaint at the European Court of Human Rights, to set a precedent in respect of fair trial and whistleblowing, Thirdly, to run an international campaign in favor of whistleblowing and to educate civil society about offshore. Because I worked not only in Switzerland, 
but also in the Cayman Islands, Isle of Man, Jersey UK, Mauritius, New York, London, and for multinationals such as Credit Suisse, KPMG, Julius Baer, Standard Bank of Africa, Noble Group of China. Therefore, I do have global experience. Thank you for any contribution you make. Please support this, this initiative, Fair Trial and Swiss Bank Secrecy. It will be in favor of global society.